Now, they will run away. If you drop a coin like this, they will come and grab the coin and then go back to the whatever the domain is. Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Kingdom Two Crowns Norseland. So we played the demo this week. I've got the game now and I'm going to do a new game and we're going to just play a new game because... I tried playing this on my laptop and it overheated and burnt my knees. So we're going to play this on my main PC and we're going to see how far we can get. I've not decided if I'm going to do full like half hour chunks because it is quite a... Um, it can be quite an involved game depending on... Uh, I, I like to say my, my look rather than skill so... I'm probably just going to play this for half an hour, see how far we get, and then uh, and decide during the cutting room stage. So, here we go. Um, I'm also, I did play around a little bit with the zoomy zoom level uh, last time, so I might, I might zoom out a little bit. And then uh, we, can, we can see how that works, because I've not really played with the zoom that much. Um, that's zoomed right in, five. Okay. Let's try like that, really zoomed out. Okay. So, if you've not played this game before, it is a, t uh, a town management game. I am the king or queen. Um, this is the, the ghost of my ancestors. I'm on a horse. I can run so much when I get steam coming out of my mouth. I have to eat grass. Nom, 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 nom. And then I can run again. That's like a stamina rate. A stamina bar for them. Now the centre of the town is over here, the fire the fire pit here, so we have to light the fire. That gets a few basic buildings up, and then I need to get these noobs to all join me. I can add coins to here, and that will equip them with a coin, and we'll go off and do a little bit of hunting. I'm pretty sure at the start I can I do get a few free coins, so let's uh, let's get a few more people here first before no, won't let me do it. Okay, then. Yeah, you've locked me into that, have you? I see. I see what you're doing. I need to go and buy a hammer. So we'll buy a hammer. A citizen will uh, equip the hammer. And then they can go and do citizen things like this. If you build on these little mounds here, we can build us a wall. And I can also get a few more arrows in a minute. But we are locked behind a bit of a... a a skill based thing at the moment just teaching you the controls so let's get both of you to join me thank you very much i got one spare coin which i can let's ah oh, i was trying to use the coin on something else it will not let me okay what does he want me to do he wants me to stand here get another bow man build explore defend conquer so the norse has got new uh things in it um mainly it seems to be you can get these villages you can give them shields and they will go and do stuff um as in you know they will defend your territory all right i want to clear this out a little bit i have run out of coins already so if you have the uh coins on these bits here let me say like there that will build like i said uh like a little uh um, gate post not gate post what's the word for it a barricade and the, the greed is the enemy which comes at night and they will come and they will go through uh, the town and try and wreck it so i need to level up as much as i can of my defenses like this now easy ways of making money at the start if you clear out the terrain you will get these little uh, raccoons or something spawning and I can hunt them. They will go off wandering in the, in the village looking for stuff. Well, the landscape. Now, we can hunt deer. If you can entice them back towards your hunters like that there. Let's see. Sometimes if you, if you walk near them, it sometimes scares them. Sometimes make them some run completely the wrong way. makes me angry. I think I remember reading about this. It's something to do with if they spot you when you're walking. Okay, okay. Now, the further out you go, you will encounter... That's the boat we need to build to escape. This is a village. So, I'm going to drop my coins there. Right, now, this is important. We need to grab coins from this. Now, you might notice it's starting to go a little bit darker because nighttime is probably coming. I need a red 
I need a, a crystal for that, which is like a rare form of currency. You can find that in a, a chest. Now, if I rescue all the people from a village, they will run back to my town, and there's a chance the next day more people will spawn. So you have to manage your stamina. So you can see at the moment I am uh, suffering with steamy horse mouth. So I am going to run a lot slower. So you have to wait for it to go back down a bit. There we go. And we can grab that person there. See, the more people you get in the uh, village, the more bows I can equip. And the more good times it is. Right, this is the... Um, you get this in some of the levels. He will give you coins. Then you give him coins back. And then he will run off to his uh, village, which is normally quite near. And he will ensure you are having a good time by bringing you more coins. Now, I've got two spur people here, so I am going to build two more bowmen. As you can see, I have pretty much maximum bowmen. More bowmen means more will shoot at them things when they run past. Apart from now, I think it's because it's night time. Okay. You need to build... You have to allocate time to build the walls as well. So you see at the moment, we are still building a wall. Which isn't the best time. Okay, they are coming. Now if we build this one here, this is a archer's tower. If you build that, they will climb into it and start shooting arrows from the top at a greater velocity. And I think we've, uh, I think we're okay at the moment. Right, so let's do the next the stage of the town upgrade with this. So the, the higher up the tiers you get at the village, the more uh, buildings you can you can actually uh, build. There we go, a little uh, fella stationed in that. Now I said before about clearing out the area, so let's clear out this here because we can see a stone thing there, which means we can build a little uh, little tower. Now, there's basically there's two ways in a level. Um, the majority of a level is there is the enemy base at one end, and there's normally a, a dock. But it, it does depend on the island. So I think this first island is pretty simple, and I can just pretty much kill all the stuff and get away from here. So I don't think there's an awful lot to unlock on this one, apart from it's worth coming out like this for the chests. So we'll get the people, drop the coins, another couple of coins here. Now there was the uh, the little like villagey typey hut before. That is a hermit hut. Now they do a number of things and you can bring them back to your village and use their traits and I am out of breath again. Things like this give you like a boost. Um, I think this is a defense boost but I've not got any of the coins to do this just yet, so what you need to do when you're running out of stamina like this, you need to run over here. You can either just stop still and rest, or you can hover over grass like this. Helps you regen your stamina quicker. When he raises the head, it is time to come and run. Right, now, as I said, there is a day and night cycle, so you do have to try and uh, run and do stuff when it's light. Um, there's another chest here. I'm just a bit worried about I'm going too far, then the enemies are going to... Okay, so I'll try and show you where the enemies come from. So they are going to come from this area here, which I can recognise from the black terrain. Now, they will run away. If you drop a coin like this, they will come and grab the coin and then go back to the whatever the domain is. And you can eventually go and attack that when you get, like, levelled up. But I've just used wasted my coins to show you how to uh, get them to run away. So sometimes it is a valid strategy when you're running away to just keep dropping the coins. Um, some have said this game, with clearing the terrain now, you get a lot of these like little minks or ferrets or whatever they are. Now, if you leave the forest, you get more deers spawning apparently. So that is something I would be interested in learning about. If you do know... Because some say you're best walling off the areas and just building up um, inside these areas. So that might be quite interesting to, to, to do. Um, okay, we've got more people here. I do feel like you can only build a certain way out, though, when you have chopped trees down. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to try out a little experiment in, in a bit and see. 
Okay, I, I need to get to the... Uh, okay, you can see they've been hunting here. Now, how do I get these to run? Run, run to the right. See, they're, they're just not running. They just seem to run towards me. Now, the, the interesting thing about this, look at the floor on this. This is sort of progressively growing a little bit, the scrubland, because I've cut down the stuff. But I don't really have a lot out here at the moment. Now, I can stick this here, get a quick archer built here. Because they will, they will be coming, don't you worry. If we can level one, the arch tower is pretty quick to build. See if we can get an archer here quick enough, though. Come on. And what, what makes this a good thing to build is you've got an archer in it. The enemies can't attack the archer just yet. So you can have someone sitting in it, plink plonking away at the enemies. Okay, I probably need to get a spur bowman to go and deal with that. And we'll get, get coins from you as well. Right, let's get another couple of bowmen. There we go. Go and give you more coins. We might as well go for another cheeky upgrade while we're here. I might just try and rush this island, actually. Because I, I reckon this is going to be an island we can quickly rush. We might go to the right and see if I can get any uh, special upgrades. Which are the crystals. So let's uh, yeah, hover over these as well. And collect any coins they've got. They'll just pause and spit it in your face. Um, villagers, I think I've mentioned this. I probably haven't, so I'll mention it again. If you chop down the trees around the village, as long as you leave, I think it's a tree each side, you can still have the village spawn. If you take too many trees, the whole village will disappear. And you will not, not get any more people out of it. I'm just tempted to see where I can build around here. So I, ca I can build that. I really want to see if I can get some crystals and unlock this. Because this is the Hermit upgrade. Now, these do different upgrades. I believe there is one that is... There used to be a chef in the first game that turned the bread. Uh, you built a bakery in the village. And then they used to attract the people to your village. But... Oh, I really want a crystal for that. Apparently, if you upgrade that, it makes the... I think it... it you eventually get a horse uh, from it, and also it makes the days longer. Now, from right, there's a jetty here, yes. So you can go and attack this eventually. I don't think you can on the first island, though, so... I think there's pretty much nothing for me here. I might as well... Do you know what? I might as well just get out of here. I might... I am tempted to put a coin into that. I'm wondering if I can build that any of this round here. Do you know what? I think I can't do this. I think I need crystals, and I think I need to come back to this island and unlock all this. So, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I've just decided. A complete waste of time. I'm going to build all this instead. Right, so. I'm going to invest all my coins in this. I think the first one you build, you pretty much build instantly. Like that. So I need to get all my uh, people up here to help. Um, I've, I've literally got nowhere I can advance at the moment. Oh dear. Shirley rocks me. I've done this all wrong. I need more builders. Now I have I have sent the one builder to the right, but unfortunately, um, they can't really do anything on their own. So yeah, we might have just caused ourselves a uh, bit of a bit of a problem. We can't upgrade that till we get the next upgrade, which is a logging camp. I think that's on another island, though. Okay. Let's uh, see if any of these have got any coins. And they have. Nice. Okay, so these are coming. As you can see, my archer on the left is taking care of the ones from a distance. Um, I'm not going to grab anything else at the moment. Right, I'm going to invest in another... Uh, build them now because I got a feeling that one to the right has just got wrecked. 
I'm gonna just try and build up to the camp level. Because you can take people with you. And I think if you build a town to a certain level, you can get armed guards and send them off towards the boat. So that's what I'm aiming to do. Right, let's see if anyone else spawned. Camp. No, but it sounds like they're fighting. It definitely sounded like enemies fighting then. Okay, so here's the boat. Well, this is where the boat should be getting built. I'm probably going to need a load more coins. No, I think we just need to. I think we, I think they just need to pick it up off the floor and start building it. Okay, there's a villager spawned there. Let's go and grab him. So the mistake I've made there is these are going to run all the way to the right to so that one tree I chopped down before. So that probably wasn't the best idea for me to do. Now, these are all off hunting around here as well. Can't really clear any of these trees at the moment. You can give me your coins, though. Okay. Come on. Join me. Right, we'll see if we can get the next upgrade on the, um, the town hall now. Okay, we've got the, we've got the farming upgrade now as well. Which just means if we uh, get to bits of uh, water. Now, not the river below us, but there are steps. Like, if you look on the far left there. If we build on this. We can do arable crops in this area. Which can give you mucho, mucho coinage. I'm just going to build these all up because I want to do a little bit of a, a buffer where I can do some defences. So you notice how I can't build on that. The kingdom has a, um, a growing area, so I can only expand to a certain extent and then build past that point. So once I get that up, I'll be able to build further over. But right now, we can't build that far. Now, speaking of building that bar, if I do another building now, he should run off over to the left. So, come on, someone grab that. There we go. Now, I can't get the next level upgrade because I need to get that log upgrade. And as you can see, they are running to the left now, so I'm assuming the boat's been built now. So, we are going to uh, make plans to schedule next turn. I'm going to run over here, see if there's anyone at the village. Okay, I can see one person. Let's grab you. He'll come and grab a uh, an archer thing, I think. I might, I might do that there. Okay, they're coming now, I think. Nope, this is one of my guys. It's going to be interesting if we can actually uh, build a lot of this in time. Now, this is a new feature. This is uh, shields. So, if you add... Oh, no, no, sorry. That is not shields. That's a farmer. Ah. Uh, you'd think I'd never played this game before. Seriously. This is a farmer. Now, he, what he'll do is he'll go up there, get a scythe, and he will then do some farmy goodness. Which they do at this spot here. This is where the uh, farmers will grow. Now, the shield I was talking about was this. So, the way these work... Let me just go and grab that coin. Yeah, so the way these work is you pump two coins in. You'll get someone get a shield. Then the uh, this icon eventually will appear, which is like... Um, it's like a defense icon. And what that means is that anyone with a shield, when you put one coin into this thing, they will rush out to defend. So it's all about timing. You have to time your defense in with that. Right, I'm wondering if I've actually got enough stuff to go because there's not a lot you can do on the first island. It's just to get used to the controls. So, 
Make sure I've got enough money off everyone. See if we can get out of here. Okay, there's extra people there. Well, extra person. Now, you can summon some of the people to come with you. Oh, they've still not built it. Uh. Why are they so slow? I'm going to put extra coins in this and get this built. Okay, there's an extra couple of villagers there. We'll have both of them. Okay, I've done enough enough of a can with that now, so any villagers who are spare to do building will hopefully run to the right and help us out. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any of the land I can actually flatten and do a, a defensive thing. I don't think there is at the moment. Okay, let's just take a little breather here. So you see the basic building of the ship go up, so the framework goes up. And then once the framework is up, it starts uh, putting the planks on the side. And you do have to be careful because the enemy will come and absolutely lay waste to that. So I was hoping to build that wall. I, built, I think I built the wall too far out there. Yeah, I can't even, I can't even see. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. This is bad. So there's no way I will have built that in time. <laughs> So I could use the uh, delay tactics like this. But it's one coin per thing. So I'm going to have to use like five coins to try and get rid of most of them. Okay, how many is that left now? Two. Okay, so I've got two coins. As you can see, we're still building the boat here. Okay, on, on your merry way. So you can see the boat is nearly done now. They're putting the shields on the side. Then I think there's a few final pieces, so let's quickly run over. See if we can dump some more money in this in a second. Keep an eye on the right. Right. HMS Shirley Rocks is now built. So they, they'll push this to the left. And then I can use the bell. So if I activate that, it will summon the people to the boat. Now hopefully we should see some of my units running from the left now. So what I'm going to do is pause here, see if I can get some coins off them. They are going to run towards my boat, and then hopefully we'll embark to the next island, but not before we get some gold off the trader. Um, don't think I need to send you out anywhere. Right, has anyone got any coins for me? A few off you. It's mainly the archers I need to uh, try and find. Okay. It is the start of the day. So that's the uh, shield icon I was talking about before. Alright, so we're grabbing all of these. I'm just curious if I give a couple more shields, will they go to the left? I mean, to the right. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, but the, the, the good thing about this game is the seasons. So you look at that there. So we've gone from night and rainy to glorious glorious sunny weather okay i'm gonna try and ring the bell again see if any i, I don't know if we're gonna get extra people or not there's no there's no like guide of how full this should be let's right, spend two coins and see and then we are gonna go when I definitely know no one's coming. Okay. So you're not coming. You're hunting. Those two aren't coming because they're not part of my clan. Okay, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. I thought this would just be fun to uh, try and uh, level up a lot more. But sadly, that's all we can do on the first island. And away we go. Build, explore, defend, conquer. Look at that, I've got a mobile deer hunting station here. I wonder what would happen if I leave this now, because normally you can press down. You can press down and um, go to the next map. But we are going to we are gonna sail past the dock. I 
I think we'll leave this a second. But be warned, nothing may happen. But something cool might happen. I'm hoping we can attack the base with this. But we might not be able to. But we'll see. Let's uh, get a cup of tea and relax and watch this boat. So interestingly enough, we can't seem to catch any coins or pick any coins up while we're going along on this. But we are getting near our destination, so let's see if this has made a difference. Can we do anything to this? Can we shoot at it? Okay, we are doing shots at it. And it does spawn enemies when you shoot at it, so this is going to be interesting. Come on. Get it. Get it. Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna carry on sailing and not get it. Look, can we shoot backwards? We can. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Sadly, we can't actually shoot it and destroy it though. Oh well, it's worth a try. First land conquered. So, when you look on this, this is the uh, area maps. That's the first island we've done. That's where we are. And then, as you can see here, that is the uh, second island. And sometimes when you unlock islands, it unlocks the various little items on there. So you can you can sort of see the icons there, but I've not unlocked a single thing. But I think this one here does have the logging camp. I'm sure it's the second island. Or it used to be the stone mine, I think, in the first game. But I am going to leave that there for now. And that is going to be for another video. So we're going to arrive in the town first. Let's spawn it. I'm going to end the video there for now. That's 28 minutes. And this is our new world. Our new town. So let's pause. This is Norseland. Kingdom Two Crowns. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time.